Hey folks, I'm glad you're here. My name is Chris, and this is the Sons of Seaver YouTube channel where there's no such thing as bad weather, only bad gear. Speaking of the weather, the weather has been fantastic recently. So we are diving back into the world of toe shoes, specifically with five fingers. This is the V Alpha, a shoe that's been out for quite some time. I think more than five years, if I remember correctly. But when we were talking with Vibram about what shoes we'd like to work with from them, I was going through the list, double checking with YouTube to see what kind of content was already out there. And I wasn't super impressed with any of the reviews that were already out about the V Alpha. So I wanted to get my own experience with it for my own opinion, see if I liked it, and then obviously be able to share that opinion with you guys if you happen to be looking into this particular five finger. It's an interesting shoe because we have the three VTs, which I think are the three pillars of Vibram Five Fingers. We have the V Train, which I've loved, the V Trail, and the V Trek. And in my opinion, just to tell you at the beginning here, I think this shoe is a viable offering to replace all three of those. Before I tell you why, I want to get into the specs of the shoe. Then we're gonna talk about my likes and my dislikes, and I'm gonna give you my final opinion on whether I would recommend the V Alpha or not. And as always, there are timestamps down in the description if you wanna skip around the video to different parts. Talking about five finger specs is really simple because they're very simple shoes. There's not a whole lot that goes into them. They're kind of no frills. So going straight to the website, starting with the weight, 4.8 ounces. We'll talk about this later because even for a five finger, that's ridiculously light. Stack height is going to be 5.7 millimeters. We're just going to call it six millimeters overall, just to keep things simple for the rest of the video. The upper material is 50-50 wool and a synthetic upper material for improved breathability and reduced odor. And then the care instructions are my favorite for five fingers, machine wash cold and air dry. I love being able to muck up a pair of five fingers and then throw them in the washing machine and they come out like new. With the intro and the specs of the shoe out of the way, let's get into my likes of the Five Fingers V Alpha. The first thing that I love about the V Alpha is going to be the Mega Grip outsole from Vibram. This is present on other models. For the V Aqua, I think it really shines because obviously in that shoe, you're going to be working with lots of wet and slippery surfaces, and the Mega Grip outsole really does well on those. When it comes to the experience that I've had with the V Alpha and the different surfaces I'm usually on, in a gym setting, whether it's concrete, wood floor, or rubber flooring, that Mega Grip outsole is going to be fantastic. For me, when it comes to my job, I'm in a metal truck all day. On the metal, it's great. On the asphalt, fantastic. And on the pavement, it also does really, really nicely. So overall, big fan of the Mega Grip outsole and its performance. The next like that I want to touch on is the featherweight lightness of the V Alpha. So it comes in at 4.8 ounces. Let's compare that with some of the other models we've been talking about so far. So the V Trek comes in at 6.5 ounces. The V Trail, 6.4 ounces, so very similar there. And then the V Train, 7.8 ounces, by far our heaviest one in consideration here. And then the V Aqua is 4.9 ounces. So this is actually lighter than every single other option that we've been talking about so far. I really love that, especially when it comes to sports movements for this. If I'm trail running, if I'm road running, even if I'm lifting weights, I wanna be dragging around as little weight added to my feet as possible. I may be nitpicking with ounces here, but I think that it feels significant when I'm wearing this shoe. The last thing I wanna talk about is the flexibility and the surprising durability of this shoe. So I've worn it for tons of miles of running. I've worn it for tons and tons of weightlifting and I've worn it to work a whole bunch. So this thing has miles on it. Lots of work has been done on this shoe and it has no signs of wear other than being a little bit dirty, which can be fixed by tossing it in the washing machine. I have no delamination of the sole whatsoever, no tearing of the upper material. And I think that is because of that wise usage of 50-50 wool and synthetic materials in that upper. It allows it to be extremely extremely lightweight, but still gives it a little bit of structure. Not too much to the point where it's noticeable, but just enough that the shoe is both protective for your foot and going to be able to stand up against some pretty significant abuse. 
With a handful of my many, many likes of the V-Alpha out of the way, I want to get into my dislikes. But first, I want to mention some affiliates, one of which is Vibram Five Fingers. So we do have a link down in the description that will take you over to their website so that you can shop around. I'd also recommend their toe socks. Their toe socks are really, really nice and pair well with their shoes. But if you hit this card, it'll take you over to our Five Finger playlist where you can watch all of the reviews that we've done of Five Fingers so far if you're interested in that and then again if you're interested in grabbing anything from vibram head down to that link in the description are you looking to take your barefoot shoe experience to another level then you're going to need a solid pair of toe socks that lets you take advantage of all that toe box we love creepers toe socks a sock that beat out six other toe sock brands in a comparison video we did that you can see through the card up in the corner whether it's cold or hot whether you're hiking running or lounging creepers toe socks will ensure that your feet stay comfy dry and healthy if you're interested in checking out creepers head down to the link in the description and use our discount code to save yourself 15% off at checkout. I have three dislikes that I want to share when it comes to the V Alpha. The first one is going to call back to one of my likes, which is the Mega Grip outsole. So the thing that I don't like about it is the durability factor. I find that I chew through the Mega Grip outsole pretty hard only in certain spots. Obviously, that's gonna be based on my walking and running patterns and how I contact the ground, but I'll give you some close-ups. So, a little bit of issue when it comes to the durability of the outsole. The next dislike I wanna bring up is a critique that I give almost to every five finger and every toe shoe that we've worked on so far. This is also an issue with the Paluvas. If you've seen that review that I've done, that is also a toe shoe. But it's the way that these deal with water. With a regular shoe that doesn't have space between the toes, if you run through a little bit of water, it's not gonna cause you any issues. You may splash it up on your legs or onto the upper of the shoe, but typically you don't feel it. It doesn't leak into your shoe you don't feel it in your socks or in between your toes or anything if i run through any water and i'm not talking like a downpour of rain or a puddle i'm talking like miss johnson just watered her grass the sprinklers are off now but the pavement's a little bit wet from that if you run through that water on the pavement even if it started to dry these things will soak up water like a sponge. Now, as far as the V Alpha goes, I actually think it does better than its counterparts do. The V Train, which I love to run in, it's a very nice feeling running shoe. That thing soaks up water literally like a sponge between your toes. So that's why I kind of leave it for the gym in general. This guy does a little bit better job holding that off, but if it's like a long sidewalk that you're running down that is wet all the way down, you're gonna feel that water between your toes. I'd love for them to figure out a way to remedy that, and I am still waiting to see a truly waterproof Vibram Five Finger. I will be very excited when that shoe is finally released. The last dislike I want to mention of the V Alpha is going to be the tongue. The tongue is almost completely free floating, obviously. It's sewn down here underneath the Velcro strap, but on the sides, it's not attached at all. And I would like to see a future version, maybe a V Alpha 2.0, now that we have the V Trail 2.0 and the V Train 2.0. Maybe we'll get a V Alpha 2.0. I would love that because I really like this shoe. And that would have, I would hope, a sewn tongue that sewed all the way up both sides because that free floating tongue does move around a little bit too much for me. With my dislikes out of the way, let's give you my final opinion of the V Alpha. I really like this shoe, and in my opinion, it can replace all of the other five fingers that we've been talking about so far. I would also add in the V Run and the V Run Retro because I actually like running in this significantly better than either of those five fingers. The fact that it comes in lighter than the V Aqua, I think it could replace that too. Now, the one thing that you'll miss out on with the V Aqua is that the materials are a little bit more permeable, breathable, more sock-like, more comfortable for being in the water. But I've used other five fingers for water use other than the V Aqua. They work fine. This one would be fantastic in that role as well. So for gym, for running, for hiking, for trail running, and even for water use, I would turn to the V Alpha if you were looking for one five finger to rule them all. Again, if you're interested in picking up the V Alpha, head down to the link in the description. If we have a discount code, it'll be down there with that link. Folks, if you liked this video, we would appreciate it if you would like, subscribe, and comment. All of those things really help the channel out. 
As before mentioned, links to Vibram Five Fingers are down in the description along with links to Toe Socks and any other affiliates that we may have mentioned in this video. If you're interested in exclusive behind the scenes, up close and personal content from us, or if you're interested in supporting the channel financially, head down to the link in the description that'll take you over to our Patreon page. We're doing a bunch of really cool content on Patreon that you're not gonna get on any of the other platforms that we use. And it's only $1 a month to subscribe. Typically the first place where I post content about the different products that we are working with is Instagram in the form of unboxing videos. So if you're interested in those or other day-to-day -day content of the products that we're working with, make sure to head down to the link in the description and go follow us on Instagram. We'd also love it if you'd follow us on Strava, which if you're not familiar with it, it's a social media platform for activity, for outdoor adventure. You can track all of the different things you're doing, whether it's hiking, running, paddle boarding, trail running, lifting weights, all of that stuff can be tracked on Strava. You can share pictures and videos of those activities as well, which is what we do. And we highlight all of the different products that we are testing while we're doing those activities. Follow us, we will follow you back and continue to build a really fun outdoor community on Strava. We're glad you're here. We appreciate your view. And as always, we will catch you in the mountains.